Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial. Today I will show you how to model a brick disk like this in SolidWorks. First go to File and choose New and start a new part. Go to Insert and Reference Geometry and choose Axis. Select the right plane and the top plane and click OK. Now right click the front plane and start a new sketch. Select your circle tool and sketch a circle with the center and the origin and give this circle a dimension of 288. Click OK to accept. Now go to Features and choose Extruded Boss. Now in the start condition choose Offset and give it an offset of 2.5. And in the end condition type 10 and click OK to accept. Now click this face and start a new sketch. Press Ctrl 1 to view it from the front plane and select your circle tool. Sketch your circle with the sense and the origin and give the circle a dimension of 161. Go to Features and choose Extruded Cut and make an extruded cut of 1 mm and click OK. Now click your front plane and start a new sketch. Press Ctrl 1. Select your circle tool, sketch your circle with the center and the origin and give the circle a dimension of 135. Go to features and choose extruded cut and from the end condition choose through all. Now reverse the direction and click OK. So we will have something that looks like this. Now type this face and start a new sketch. Click this edge and click Convert Entities. Click OK to accept and escape. Now choose your circle tool and sketch a circle with the sense and the origin. And give this circle a dimension of 148.25. Go to Features and choose Extruded Boss. Now in the end condition choose Offset from Surface and choose this face. Click the arrow to reverse the direction and type 46, 46.33 and click OK to accept. Now type, now click this face and start a new sketch. Click this edge and choose Convert Entities. Go to Features and choose Extruded Boss. Now you make an extrusion of 7.2 Click the arrow to reverse the direction and click OK to accept. Press Ctrl 1 to view it from the front view. Right click your front plane and start a new sketch. Sketch a circle with the center and the origin and give this circle a dimension of 68. Now go to features and make an extruded cut through all like this and click OK. Now click this face and start a new sketch. Click this edge and click Convert Entities and click OK to escape. Select a circle tool and sketch a circle with the sense and the origin. And give the circle a dimension of 161. Go to Features and choose Extruded Boss and make an extrusion of 50 millimeters. And click OK to ac accept. Now press Ctrl 4 to view it from the, the right plane. Right click your right plane and start a new sketch. Now select a center rectangle. Zoom a little in like I'm doing here and sketch a center rectangle. And press escape to exit the tool. Now click your front plane and Ctrl click the center of the rectangle and choose coincident. Choose smart dimension and Give this line a dimension of 22. Choose this point and this line and give this one a dimension of 12. And finally give this line a dimension of 10. Now you can zoom out and rotate a little. Go to Features and go to Revolve Cut. Now in the axis of revolution choose your axis. And the revolve type, choose midplane and choose 15 degrees. So it would look like this and click OK to accept. 
now choose your fillet tool and give these four corners a fillet of two millimeters like I'm doing here like this and click OK to accept now go to insert and go to pattern mirror and choose the circular pattern now in the features to pattern choose your revolver cut and your fillet and in the pattern axis choose your axis you made in the start now in the number of instances type 20 and click OK to accept press ctrl 4 to view it from the right plane right click your right plane and start a new sketch sketch a circle like I'm doing here and give this circle a dimension of 12 millimeters and give it a dimension from your axis to the center of the circle of 146.5 press the escape button to escape smart dimension now click the front plane and control click the center of the, the circle and make it coincident Go to Features and choose Revolver Cut. Now in your axis, choose this axis and make sure you have Blind chosen and 360 degrees and click OK to accept. So now it would look like this. Now you should, you should choose your chamfer like this and click this edge and give this edge a chamfer of 4 millimeters and click OK to accept. Choose your chamfer tool once more and give this edge a chamfer of 3.2 and click OK to accept. Now press Ctrl 1 to view it from the front plane. Right click front plane and start a new sketch. Sketch a circle like I'm doing here and give the circle a diameter of 15.3 millimeters. Control click your top plane and the center of your circle like this and make a coincident relation and snap to the center and to the center of the circle and give it a dimension of 56. Now go to features and go to extruded cut and make an extruded cut through all like I'm doing here. Now go to insert and go to pattern and mirror and choose circular pattern and choose your, your cut you just made and in the center you choose your, your axis like this and in number of instances you type 5 and click OK to accept so we will have some screw holes now choose your chamfer once more and give this edge a chamfer of 2 millimeters and press OK to accept. Now press Ctrl 1 to view it from the front plane and click this face to start a new sketch. Select your center line tool and snap to the origin. Sketch a center line here and one more here, one down here and one here and one here. Now choose a three point arc and snap to this point and snap to this point and sketch it like I'm doing here and press the escape button. Now control click your arc and this center line and make a tangent relation like this. Now choose your ordinate dimension. Choose this line and click once. Choose this point and this point. Click OK. Now choose your ordinate dimension once more and click this line and click this point and click escape. Now double click this dimension and type 30. Double click this dimension and type 38. And double click this dimension and type 88. Now zoom a little out. Choose smart dimension and choose your top plane and choose this center line and give this one an angle of 4.55 degrees and click OK to accept. So we will have a fully defined sketch here. Now exit your sketch, start a new sketch on this face, choose your circle tool and sketch a circle with the center in this point 
give the circle that I mentioned of six millimeters. Go to features and choose extruded cut and make it through all. And click OK to accept. Now go to insert and go to pattern mirror and choose curved driven pattern. Now in your pattern direction choose this sketch and in your features to pattern you choose this hole. Now in number, number of instances type 5 and make sure you have equal space and checked and click OK to accept. Now right click your sketch and hide it like this. Go to insert and choose pattern and mirror and choose the circular pattern. Now in the pattern axis choose this axis and in the features to pattern you expand your feature tree and choose the curve driven pattern and in number of instances you type 20 and click OK to accept. So we will start to look something like this. Now all we need is to give it some fillets and some chamfers. You can start with some chamfers. Give this edge a chamfer, chamfer of two millimeters and this edge also and right click to accept. Choose the filler tool and make it of one millimeter and choose this edge and this face and click OK to accept. So finally we will give this one a fillet also. Type this face and this face and click OK to accept. So now we have modeled our brake disc. And I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and you will find it useful. Thank you for watching. Bye.